Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Esther Hahn. I am a associate clinical professor here at the SUNY State College of Optometry. And I work in the Vision Rehabilitation Service. And we see patients specifically with um, conditions that require therapy, so similar to physical therapy for the eyes. And then even in that, we have a subsection. So I see often patients with acquired brain injuries. The background of SUNY is that it's part of the State University of New York, kind of similar to California where they have the UC, the UC system. So this is our um, State College of Optometry. And what's interesting and very unique about our program here is that historically since the 1970s, it's been, the emphasis has been vision rehabilitation or vision therapy. And so I think visual snow especially kind of fit right in for us to actually treat and evaluate patients. So in terms of like my first exposure to visual snow syndrome, I've, I've kind of always knew what visual snow was because that's what you learn, like, oh, it's a specific kind of way people see, but never how to evaluate for it, never how to treat it. We had one patient that was referred because we have a large referral service. So a lot, a lot of the large hospitals, whether it's Mount Sinai, NYU, um, this particular person was at Columbia, and a neurologist sent a 10-year-old girl with visual snow um, after her surgery. She had a, a brain cyst that was removed. And she came in, the mother even said, you know, she, she was referred specifically for tints. And so we had an instrument and the neurologist knew, so we then applied that to her. But the mother said, you know, she would go to the mall, wear these pink glasses and said, you know, oh, my, my snow reduces by 30%. And we kind of look at her, what do you mean 30%? Oh, very, it's very specific. So we trialed the tint on her and she said, oh no, these are 70% reduction of my snow. And so we were kind of amazed because she could put a number to it. And so that kind of started the process, even started how to evaluate for tints in individuals. So we would always ask that question now. It's like, how much did it reduce when we give you these tints? So that's, that was our first introduction. Personally, we heard about Visual Snow Initiative and requested to be a provider. And then I noticed that there were neurologists in New York. And so from that, we've been all referring to one another. And so that's how our numbers have grown in terms of seeing individuals with Visual Snow Syndrome. We, tr like we learned and then we train kind of the ne next residents. So now every class that graduates, you'll see more and more people who, can, who are comfortable with it. And so I would say if just me alone, I, I, we see one or two evaluations a week. And that's not counting my colleagues on, in my service. So we do definitely see quite a few. Over the years, uh, we, be, through the referral service, we've gotten several um, inquiries of, of vi for visual snow evaluations. So primarily, initially it was the Facebook forums by other individuals who we evaluated. Then we started doing lectures to um, continue education lectures. And so from there, you know, we have a huge referral source from optometrists in the local metro area, and they, they've been sending patients. Um, and then Visual Snow, uh, even last night we asked one of our therapy patients, oh, actually, how did you get to know us? Oh, my mother did a search, went on the Visual Snow Initiative website and found you, and that's how we got here. And so definitely the, the family members or the patients themselves are doing the online research. I've had researchers come from Boston, and so they're PhD students there, and they read the papers actually that we published. So those, those have been the ways that um, over the last, even this past couple of months, how people have found us. Generally, um, the protocol that we use is you kind of evaluate for everything and because we're vision therapy based we're always looking to see okay do you um how's your eye focusing how is your eye tracking how is your eye teaming abilities what we find is that especially the eye focusing 
that area and then the I-teaming, actually um, a lot of individuals do have difficulty with. Um, however, if you, even if they don't have deficits that we can measure, if you work on the eye tracking, especially because of symptoms like trailing or after images, just to work with them in that area uh, really relieves their, their symptoms, right? And also helps them to perceive it less. And that's kind of the key, to perceive it less. Um, then um, in the initial evaluation, we're, we're working on tints. So everything we're doing is like, okay, how, how can I reduce it a little bit more and a little bit more? And then most of the time at the end, we're doing therapy. So uh, the, um, the patients that we see during the week, we've already tried um, tints. Uh, some of them we've tried something called optometric phototherapy where they're looking at different colors of light for either five minutes at a time or 10 minutes at a time. And sometimes that's incorporated in their therapy. So uh, most of the time it really depends on the patient's um, goals. You know, so some people just want lenses to reduce it a little bit. Some people want, um, you know, they, they, they want to see the maximum effect. And so, you know, we'll offer those different options to them. In terms of the types of cases we see, we see kind of the full, full spectrum. So we see individuals who it doesn't bother them. They've had it for most of their lives. Um, but I've researched and looked at your papers, and I, I kind of want to be evaluated and see what options there are. We've had that in level where they've left with nothing. <laughs> and then we've had individuals where they say they're, you know, we gave them these tints that were very specific to them. So um, cerium colorimetry, we used that very specific device. And they said, my pain is gone because it's been associated with pain. Their headaches are much less. Their energy levels have gone up. So that's one of our more extreme cases where they're, they felt like they they could live again and live life again. And so, um, you know, one of the types of groups of patients we saw and is what the POTS patients, right? They, they have this um, huge uh, difference in their uh, blood pressures depending on their posture. And we have two young 20-year-olds and they, you know, we've started therapy with them because the tints actually didn't help them extremely. But when we started working with them, their, their energy levels are up. They, they said they can walk around New York City now. They can read. And it's only been four or five sessions of therapy. They're not even finished yet. But they're so happy. And I think for me, that's been so, it's been wonderful to hear their week-to-week -week changes that they're experiencing. So. So in terms of when we first see a patient, um, the first thing we do is uh, we have a survey that we published that we, that's a, a com collaboration of what we read online in terms of the research. And so that's called the Visual Snow um, Symptom Survey. And so what we do is go through that list. Usually by that point, the patients are, oh, how did you know? Right? How did you know I have these even secondary problems? How did you know I have tinnitus? How did you know I have balance problems? So, all of a sudden, just because we start understanding where they're coming from, we start giving them kind of stories of other people that we've met, they're, they're, you know, they're, they start to trust us more. And I think that first step of, of them kind of feeling, oh, you're validating where I am, um, you're giving me some hope about where I could go in the future, and you've also given me individuals that have gone through the process. And so that's kind of the first maybe 20 minutes. Um, and so from that, we will do the kind of our normal evaluation um, in terms of our service, right? I'll, we'll check their glasses, make sure it's not under or overcorrected. We'll go into seeing how their eye teaming abilities and their eye focusing, and that usually might take one session right, just to go over those things. Then we book a second session. We do uh, any kind of tints. Um, if they do have balance problems, we'll evaluate their visual and their uh, vestibular balance um, system. So it's the integration of those symptoms. And then after th all of that is done and we recommend glasses, um, we'll say, okay, we also recommend therapy, so let's um, consider um, how many sessions. So a severe problem could go up to 25 to 30 sessions. Not so severe could be anywhere from eight to 10 um, sessions. Light therapy, if we look at their autonomic nervous system. So the wonderful thing about optometry is that we can look at their, how their parasympathetic, sympathetic systems, you know, my, my flight and fright, my rest and digest system, 
how they balance each other, we can already see that in their pupils' reactions. And so that's a simple test we can do. Then we look at a visual field. That's what we call the color functional visual field. And using those combinations, we'll uh, then estimate how many light therapy sessions we might recommend. And so then we reevaluate them about every you know, eight to 10 sessions and see how they're doing.